Hello. I'm Sarah Taylor. I'm your new local buyer. Pleased to meet you. It's very kind of you to meet me. <clears throat> oh, sorry. This is my husband, Mark. Good morning. How are you? Very well, thank you. How was your flight? Oh, actually, I'm a bit tired. It was a very long flight. Let's get your bags. Oh, that's mine there, the red one. It's empty. Sorry. Don't worry, Mark. Strong, aren't you, dear? No worries. Come on, let's go to the hotel. Thank you very much for picking me up. You're very welcome. You'll be all right here? Mm, thanks, I'll be fine. And thank you, Mark, for helping with my heavy bag. Oh, don't mention it. All right, then. Nice to meet you finally. I'll ring you tomorrow. Nice to meet you too. Goodbye. Good morning. Would you like to check in? Yes, please. And your name? Anne Lee. Uh, yes. Could you just fill this out, please? How long will you be staying? Two weeks. Are you here on business? Mainly business. Will you need a hire car? No, thank you. And will you need a map of the city? Uh, maybe later. And will you want a newspaper in the morning? No, thank you. Okay. And how will you be paying, Ms Lee? Credit card. Thank you. There you go. And here's your key. That's room 309. Enjoy your stay, Ms Lee. Thank you. I hope I will. Hello? Barber's Private Investigation. John Barber speaking. Hello. Can you find missing people? Sometimes we can. Have you lost somebody? Yes. Perhaps you'd like to tell me about it? Uh, can I make an appointment, please? When would you like to come in? Is tomorrow okay? Uh, l let's see. Uh, yes, I can see you at 10 o'clock. Will that suit you? Okay, thank you. Uh, 23 Mitchell Street, is that right? That's right, uh, second floor. Okay, see you then. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. Hello, reception. What time is it, please? Uh, it's five o'clock. And what time do you serve dinner? The restaurant opens in an hour and dinner is served between 6 and 9 p.m. And breakfast? Breakfast is served between 7 and 9.30 a.m., ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. Excuse me? Yes. Could you tell me how to get to Mitchell Street? Yes, you're, you're going the wrong way. You need to go straight along here, past the silver balls, turn left, and that's the second on the right. 
opposite the town hall. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Excuse me. Yes. I'm looking for number 23, Barber's Private Investigator. Over there, next to the trees. Oh, thank you. Good luck. You'll need it. Yes, usual rates. I must go now. Uh, right. Uh, goodbye, uh, Ms. Roberts. Uh, Julia. Bye. Mr. Barber? John, John, uh, private investigator. Uh, you must be uh, Ms. Lee. Please sit down. Now, what can I do for you, Ms. Lee? Did you find him for me? Can you help me? Well, I'll try. Now, tell me about your brother, Ms. Lee. Uh, how old is he? He's 23. Mm -hmm. Well, that would make him your younger brother. Uh, what's his name? David. And what does he do? He's a student. Or... He was a student. I don't know where he is. Mm -hmm. uh, how tall is he? About 175 centimetres. Mm -hmm. uh, and does he speak English? Yes, he speaks English and Chinese. Mr Barber, can you find him? I'll certainly try. Now, tell me a little about yourself, Ms Lee. Where are you from? I come from Singapore. I'm Singaporean. Right. And um, uh, how old are you? I'm 25. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what do you do? I import wine. I'm a businesswoman. I work in my family's business. Mm -hmm. um, are you married? No, I'm single. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> Pardon? Oh, sorry. Uh, we private investigators are a naturally curious bunch. Um, Ms Lee, perhaps you'd better tell the whole story. It all started two years ago. My brother David worked in the family business too, but he didn't like it. He wanted to try something different. Mm -hmm. So what happened? My parents agreed. They let him come to Australia to study. Mm -hmm. uh, where did he go? He came here. To Adelaide. He studied computer science. We thought he was happy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then what happened? I don't know. He wrote every week and then the letters stopped. Mm. Uh, do you know where he lived? Mm, he stayed with an Australian family. He was a boarder. And here's the address. Did you find them? Yes, of course. He left there a year ago. I don't know where he went. Does he have a mobile phone? I don't know. He did, but he doesn't answer it now. Hmm. <laughs> don't worry, Miss Lee. I'll find your brother.
Mm. It's mm. very smooth. Good flavour too. It sells well in restaurants here. I think these will sell well in Singapore. Mm, the samples you sent me were very popular with our staff. Mm. You seem to understand our taste in Singapore. Thank you. It's my job to know what my clients like. So, are you enjoying the city? Mm, it's very nice. What are you going to do tomorrow? I don't know. I'll probably stay in the hotel and relax. Why did you come to lunch with us at home? Oh, thank you, but you have your family. Yes, and they want to meet you. We're going to have roast chicken, traditional Aussie food. Mm, sounds good. All right, I'll come. Great. What time? We eat at about one o'clock, so about 12.30. I'll show you the house. OK, thank you. I'll get my brother to pick you up. No, that's OK. I'll get a taxi. All right, then. That's settled. Here we are. How much is that? That will be seventeen fifty. Thanks, love. Keep the change. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. I'm Anne. Mummy. Come in, Anne. Two plates and a bag of food. Hello, and your tickets. Have a nice day. How much do I owe you? Ah, it's okay. It's my treat. Oh, thank you. I'll buy lunch. Is there somewhere to have lunch? Of course. There's a cafe just over there. What do you want to do first? I really want to hold a koala. Is there a koala here? Yes. It's the most popular animal. We might have to queue though. I don't mind. What else is there? Are there some kangaroos? Of course, there are lots. Uh, and birds. I've heard Australian birds are amazing. Don't worry, you'll get to see lots of birds. What should we do first? Well, the kangaroos are just over there, and I think the birds are next. And next... You'll cuddle a koala? Sure. And after that? After that I'll buy lunch. It's a deal. Look at this big grey one. He's massive. <laughs> He has very, very strong arms and legs. Mm, and a big, strong tail. Yeah, and he is. Very big ears. His fur looks very soft. It feels soft on my hand. He's got beautiful big brown eyes. that little black and white one. Oh yeah. I think that's a willy wagtail. They're very fast, they move around a lot. It's cute. It's got such a long tail. Yeah. Oh, look at that bird. Oh, that's a kingfisher. Oh, we have them in Singapore. Really? Mm. Look at its beautiful blue back. Very colourful, isn't it? There's lots in Australia. Mm. Big ones and small ones. We have a very big one called a kookaburra. Has a very interesting laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so soft and cuddly. Yeah, like me. They've actually also got really sharp claws. See? Oh, he's so cute. Can I take him home? I don't think they'd be very happy about that. That one. What's the matter? Mm, nothing. I'm just feeling a bit homesick. Come on. Let's 
sure you get something to eat. What would you like? Yeah? Um, I'll have a cheese and salad sandwich and a cappuccino, thanks. Do you have wine? No, sir, we don't serve alcohol. We have coffee, tea, soft drinks and juices. Okay. I'd like a orange juice and a pie with chips. Do you have sauce? Just help yourself. And I'll bring the food when it's ready. Thank you. Is that good? It's delicious. You should try one. It's real Aussie food. Maybe one day. I don't eat a lot of meat. How's your coffee? Mm, it's very good. Don't you drink coffee? Sometimes. I prefer tea or juice. So, is the koala the best? Oh, definitely. The kangaroos are interesting too. I've never seen her once before. And the birds are wonderful. I think I like the birds the most. They're so colourful and so many different kinds. What about you? What did you like best? Just being here. Tell me about your life in Singapore. What do you do every day? Well, I work in my father's business importing wines. Mm -hmm. I live with my family. How do you get to work? Do you, do you catch a bus? Usually. Sometimes I go with my father in his car. What about you? What do you do? I'm a builder. I build houses. Mm. How do you get to work? I drive. I have to use my car for work, so I never go by bus. Do you enjoy it, your work? Mostly. It's not easy being a builder. But it's outside. I prefer to work outside. Mm, I never work outside. Occasionally I travel though, like now. And what do you do on the weekends? Mm, sometimes I go shopping. Sometimes I go out. Where do you go? Nightclubs? Mm, not really. Occasionally. Who do you go with? A bunch of friends. Boyfriend? Not at the moment. Did you have a good day? Very much. Yeah. Thank you for taking me. How about you? Of course. Not too boring? You must have been there a hundred times. Oh, not since I was a kid. It was great. Do you like Chinese food? I love Chinese food. I'm going to cook a Chinese meal for you and your family. Really? That'll be great. When? Friday. Fantastic. I'll, I'll see you then. Yes. Bye. Bye. Excuse me. Sorry, Ms. Lee, I didn't see you. Could I have my key, please? Certainly. Here you are. Oh, and there's a message for you. Dear Ms. Lee, please call my office. I have some news for you. John Barber, private investigator. Have you found my brother? Uh, not, not yet. Uh, no. Uh, well, not quite. But I have found something. What is it? I went to the university. You said he was a student. I spoke to his professor, the head of the course he studied. And what did he say? Does he know what happened? Well, no, not exactly. Uh, he didn't know where your brother went, but he told me David had left the university. He stopped going to lectures. <laughs> when did he stop? Oh, about a year ago. He didn't tell anyone, but he left a letter with the professor. A letter? Have you got it? Where is it? it the professor has it. He wouldn't give it to me because it was addressed to you. He left his, ah, his card. 
I'll go and see him. Thank you. Oh, I, I found out something else. Yes? Your brother had a girlfriend. Really? He didn't tell me. Who is she? Well, I don't know yet, but I'm sure I can find her. We're, we're closing in, Miss Lee. Uh, fear not. Thank you. Hello, oh dear. How are you? Very well, thank you. Are you sure? Is anything wrong? No, I'm fine. I watched you walking. You walk sadly. <laughs> I'm old. I walk slowly, but you walk sadly. Well, I do have a problem. Not too serious, I hope. I don't know. I hope not. Worrying doesn't help, my dear. Think positively, it helps. Do something, take action. You'll be all right. I hope so. Thank you. Where are you from, dear? Singapore. You speak English very well. Thank you. Sometimes when people speak very quickly, I can't understand. <laughs> Don't worry, I speak slowly. And I see badly these days. What number bus is that, dear? It's 190. <laughs> At last. It was nice talking to you. You too. Does this bus go to the university? Yes, miss. How much is that? Single or day trip? Sorry? Are you coming back today? Yes. How long will you be at university? Uh, I'm not sure. An hour, perhaps? A uh, single will do. You can use the same ticket to come back. That's three dollars, please. How far is it? Uh, not far. About four kilometres from here. And how many stops is it? About ten. Thank you. University. This is your stop, miss. Oh, thank you. Where do I catch the bus to go back? Just across the street, over there. How often do the buses come? Every 20 minutes. You won't have to wait long. It's 10.30. Uh, the next one's at 10.40 and then 11 o'clock. Thanks. Goodbye. Have a good day. what to do I think you should go to the police but he says I should look for him yes well he might have felt that way then but a year is a long time if I were you I'd report your brother missing should I tell my parents about the letter oh, your poor parents they must be so worried I think you should tell them what you know what if I can't find him? Have faith. I'm sure you will. You know your brother. You'll find him. I'll uh, show you out. Well, good luck, Miss Lee. I don't know what else to do. Um. Why don't you advertise in a newspaper? Put a photograph of your brother there. Somebody might recognize him. Hmm. Good. I hadn't thought of that. My advice is never give up. Thank you for your help.
When you find your brother, say hello to him for me. I will. These are our whites. Why don't you try the Chardonnay first? It's our best selling wine. Lovely. Mm, good fruit. Perhaps a little immature? Yes, it's made from some of our youngest vines. It is our most popular white at the moment. Uh, try this Riesling. very pale, isn't it? A lot of our customers are finding it very attractive. It's a bit too dry for our market. I think we'll leave that one. But I like the Chardonnay. I think we can sell that. Excellent. Let's try the reds. Our reds are as good as any you'll find around here. What have we got here? This is our Cabernet Sauvignon. It's very popular. Mm, a bit too much fruit at this stage. I understand it wasn't a good year for Cabernet in this district. You know your wines, Miss Lee. I try to be prepared. What's your best red? This one. Our Shiraz. And we think it's world class. It's a lovely colour. Deepest red. What vintage is this? It's uh, three years old now. It'll drink well for years yet, but you can drink it right now too. And what's the price? Well, it's our most expensive wine at $50 retail. Mm, I'll think about it. It's certainly got potential, but there are a lot of wines around in this class these days. You've got a lot of competition, Tim. <laughs> That's for sure. But we can work out a special price for you if you're interested. Mm. I'm definitely interested. This is very good. Sarah knows our requirements and pricing position. I'm sure you can work out something with her. I'm sure we can. <laughs> Who's next, please? Could I have some prawns, please? Fresh frozen or cooked? Frozen, please. How much do you need? About 500 grams, please. That'd be $10, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I help you? Some of these leeks. How many, love? Three. Uh, something else? Uh, some ginger? Uh, right there, love. Oh, right. Just this piece, please. Okay. Do you have any bean sprouts? Yes, we do. How much would you like? About 100 grams. Will that be all? Yes, thanks. That'll be $4, thanks. Thank you. Thanks for running into you here. Where are you up to in such a hurry? Oh, nowhere. I, I thought I saw someone I know. Oh, where? Oh, it's okay. He's gone now. I must have made a mistake. You got time for a coffee? Yeah, okay. Yeah? How about here? Fine. So what are you doing at the market? I'm cooking at your house on Friday, remember? Of course, Friday. That'll be great. What about you? Do you come here often? <laughs> What's funny? When someone says, do you come here often, it's what we call a pick-up line. You know, when someone's... I know what a pick-up line is. I'm sorry. I come here every week to buy fruit. I like fresh fruit for work. What are we having for dinner? 
you'll find out on Friday. Oh, it's a Cappuccino? Yeah. And a tea, please. Tea? No worries. Do you want me to take your shopping home? I can put it in the fridge for you. No, that's okay. I have a fridge in my room at the hotel. The person you saw, who did you think it was? Uh, it's a long story. Maybe I'll tell you later. On Friday? Maybe. I thought I saw David at the market, but I didn't get a very good look and I lost him in the crowd. Oh, when was this? Just yesterday. How long since you've seen him? Mm, nearly two years. Are you sure you'd recognise him now? Of course. He's my brother. It's just, I'm thinking he might have changed his appearance if he didn't want to be found. Mr Barber, I would recognise my brother, believe me. Of course, I'm sorry. Maybe you did see him at the market. It's just, you've been thinking about him a lot. The mind plays tricks, you know. I suppose so. Maybe it wasn't him. I don't know. Is there anything that would positively identify him? Uh, a jewellery, a scar, anything? His watch. My father gave it to him. He always wears it. Can you describe it? It's an old-fashioned watch, an Amiga. It was our grandfather's. Uh, what's the band made of? Silver. And the watch has an inscription. It says, To my son, Norman. Norman? That's our father's name. Grandfather gave it to him. Ah, uh, Norman. In Chinese. In Chinese. He might have a neck band. I gave it to him as a going away present. Uh, what's it like? It's made of tortoiseshell. It's a disc with a design. Like this. Ah, oh, yin yang. That's right, you know it. The band is made of leather. He said he'd always wear it. Yes, well, it's a. Uh, it's. it's just not much, uh, but it's something, I suppose. I'll call you next week uh, with some news. I hope so. Excuse me, I have an appointment to see Dr. Chang at 2.30. And your name? Lee. Anne Lee. Ms. Lee. Yes. Please, take a seat. Doctor will see you soon. Thank you. Ms. Lee? Doctor will see you now. Thank you. So, Ms. Lee. How can I help you? I've been getting some very bad headaches lately and I feel tense. When do you get them? Usually at night, but sometimes in the morning too. And have you been taking anything for them? No. You look tense. Are you working too hard? Not really. I'm over here from Singapore buying wines. But something's worrying you. Am I right? <sighs> yes. I'm worried about my brother. He's been missing for two years. No wonder you've been getting headaches. But just let me give you a checkup to make sure it's nothing else. Your blood pressure is a little high, but your heart is fine. I'm sure it's the worry about your brother that's causing the headaches. What can I do? Try to relax and get some rest. Do you prefer Western or Chinese medicine? I prefer Chinese medicine. Here are some tablets. Take two, three times a day. And try not to worry about your brother. I'm sure you'll find him soon. Thank you. I hope so. You feeling better now? Yes. The doctor said I should relax. Oh, why don't you sit down? Let me cook. No, I enjoy cooking. It is relaxing for me. Okay then. Well, let me help. Oh, what do you need? Uh, I need a sharp knife. The knives are in this drawer. And a wok. Do you have one? Yes, of course. It's in this cupboard. And do you have a, hmm, I don't know what it's called, a kind of a saucepan with holes in it? A colander? 
Mm. It's in here too. It's behind the saucepans. And I'll need a bowl. Large or small? Big enough to hold these prawns. Oh, yum. Prawns. I love prawns. How about this one? No, that's too big. I don't need one as big as that. This one? That's perfect. Okay, I'm ready. What are we having? Singapore noodles with prawns. Oh. It's a very famous dish. You can buy it at street stalls everywhere. Mm. I hope you like it. I'm sure we will. So, what do we do first? First we have to peel the prawns. Oh, okay, I'll do that. Mm. Now what? Now we'll fry the prawns. The oil must be very hot. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take very long. While I'm doing that, you can chop the leeks. Chop them very fine. Like this? Yes, sort of. Now what? Next we add the spices and some ginger. Okay. And the leeks. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now? Now the leeks are soft, we put in some bean sprouts. Mm -hmm. And then the prawns and the noodles. All in together. Is that all? Almost. Lastly, we add some of this special sauce. Mm -hmm. Didn't think I'd be able to find this here. Your market's very good. That's it. We're almost ready. I hope your family's hungry. Mm. That was delicious, Anne. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yes, it was very tasty. If you went to Singapore, you could have it every day. There you are, Mark. The advantages of travel. I thought it was absolutely superb. Thank you, Steve. What did you think, Louise? Too hot. Oh, I'm sorry. That's how we eat in Singapore. Do you want to play darts? What's that? Come on, I'll show you. Can I play too? No, Louise. Let Anne relax. She cooked dinner, so we'll clean up. You have to hold it like this. Gently. Yeah. Like this. Look where you want the dart to go and throw it, but not too hard. It's pretty good for a beginner. And you seem sad again. What's the matter? There's something I haven't told you. This is your brother? Yes. I know this man. You know him? I'm sure it's him. This is a man who works at the store where I buy fruit. Oh, I knew it. I knew it was him. We must go there now. Oh, hold on, hold on. It's 10 o'clock at night. The market's closed. Let me have another look. How long since you've seen him? Two years. It's him. I'm sure it's him. What's going on? Steve says he knows my brother. What? Oh, I think so. He says David's working at the market. Hmm. That's right. My brother sells fruit for a living. Steve, are you sure? Yes. Anne thinks she saw it. Well, the markets are open tomorrow. Let's find out. I can't believe it. David working at the market. He's not here. Give me the photo. I'll ask. Excuse me? Yes, mate. We're looking for this man. He works here, doesn't he? Who wants to know? This is his sister. She's been looking for him. I don't know anything about her sister. He never mentioned her sister. But it is him, isn't it? Please say it's him. Yeah, well, this does look like how Davo. I reckon it's him, love. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's David. 
So where is he? Look, I don't know, mate. He rang yesterday and he said he wanted a couple of days off. I said, OK. He's usually pretty good. Do you know where he lives? Thank you, love. Well, just get me a book. We'll go there straight away. <laughs> Straight ahead? Yes. No, uh, left at the next lights. How far is it? Not far. Keep going along this road until you get to a roundabout. Uh, What's that? It's the cops. Can I see your license, please? Here you are. I'm sorry, officer. What's the problem? I'm afraid you were travelling at 70 kilometres per hour in a 60 kilometre zone. I also see you have a passenger in the back seat who was not wearing a seat belt. Do you know that you must wear a seat belt when you're travelling in a vehicle, ma'am? I'm sorry. I forgot. Um, you see, officer, my friend here has been looking for her brother who she hasn't seen for two years and we've just discovered the address. We were driving there when you pulled us over. Yes, well you hear a lot of stories in this job. I haven't heard that one before. But it's true! I'm really sorry, it's all my fault. I was only thinking about my brother and now you're in trouble. It's okay, yeah. it's my fault we're going too fast. Look, just stick to the speed limit, okay? Thank you, officer. Thank you so much. But that's no excuse for not wearing a seatbelt. Right now, be off with you. Hope to find your brother, man. Thanks, officer. Where did you say it was? This is it. Barker Street. We're looking for number 57. What am I going to say to him? It'll be fine. He's your brother. So, who's going to knock? I guess I will. I'm so nervous. Don't worry. We'll be here. Hello. Hello. I wonder... Uh, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm looking for... Very hard to explain. Perhaps my partner can help you. David! Um. David! <sighs> oh, it's so good to see you. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. I've been so selfish. I'm so glad you're all right. I've been so worried. <laughs> Rose, this is my sister, Anne. Oh, your sister? <laughs> Anne, this is my uh, girlfriend, Rose. You'd better come in. David hasn't told me very much about his family. I'm so sorry. And I feel very bad about not contacting you. I just can't believe it. I was looking for you, thinking that something terrible must have happened, and here you are playing house. There's someone you should meet. <gasps> this is our son, Sam. <laughs> Sam, meet your Aunt Anne. Oh, David, my little brother of father. Oh, he's beautiful. David, why didn't you tell me about Rose? Why didn't you tell me you were a father? I think I'd like to know that too. I would have come and helped you. It's 
It's hard to explain. I have some friends outside who helped me find you. I think you need to tell us all what happened. I'll go and get them. I'm an aunt. <laughs> Sarah, Steve. This is my brother David and his partner Rose. And this is my nephew Sam. He's gorgeous. I know you. Uh, you... Shop at your stall, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> green apples. He always wants green apples. <laughs> That's right. You have a good memory, David. I think you'd better all sit down. What happened? Why did you stop writing? I started my course at university. But it was very difficult. Computer science isn't for me. Did you fail your exams? Yes. I, I let everyone down. I just, I just wanted to die. Dad must be so angry. He's just worried about you, David. I didn't know what to do. I was so confused. I had to find a job. I, I couldn't use father's money anymore. So... I applied for a job at the markets and Phil was very kind. He agreed to give me a job if I could get a working visa. How did you? I went home and applied for it. You mean you went back to Singapore? Yes. I was too ashamed to see anyone. <laughs> I'm such a failure. I don't think you're a failure. Anyway, I returned here and I started work, I met Rose, and we moved in together, and well then Sam came along. It's an amazing story. Oh, I think it's wonderful. Mum and Dad won't think it's that wonderful. They'll be so relieved you're safe. We didn't know what to think, David. Uh, can't I just disappear? You can pretend I don't exist. Oh, you should have told me. I could have helped. Didn't you realise we'd come and look for you? I just couldn't face Dad. You could have told your sister. I ought to have told you, Anne. I should have trusted you. I'm so sorry. He's so beautiful, David. You can't keep him from Mum and Dad. They're your flesh and blood, David. They're Sam's grandparents. Don't you think they want to see him? Don't you think I want to meet your parents? Rose is right, David. Mum and Dad so much want to be grandparents. But not like this. <laughs> your secret's out now. Steve! It's all right, Sarah. Steve's right. I think David knows what he has to do. What do you suggest? Hello, Mum. It's me, David. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm alright. Yep. <laughs> Anne found me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm working. Um, look, I'm so sorry that I didn't call you. Can you forgive me? <laughs> yeah. Okay, alright. I love you too. Yep. Alright. Mum's crying. <laughs> She's gone to get Dad. He's going to be so angry. Hello, Dad? It's me, David. Do you realise how ready we've been? Yes, sir. You're our son. How could you do this to us? I'm sorry for causing you so much worry, Dad. I thought that you'd be angry. That's why I didn't tell you I couldn't study anymore. Of course I'm angry. Your mother's been sick with worry. But you didn't have to disappear. What have you been doing all this time? I've been working. I work at the markets. I'm going to be a partner in the business soon. And Dad, there's something else. I'm with someone. And we have a baby boy. Dad? 
Dad, are you still there? Did you say you were married? Not exactly. I have a partner. Her name is Rose. And we have a son. Your grandson? Dad? I'm here, David. There's too much to think about. I want you to come home. But I... No, I... but... You need to come home. Bring her. Bring Rose and our grandson. Your mother and I love you. We want to see you. We want to meet your family. Goodbye. I'll see you soon. Yeah, I promise. I love you too. Well, what did they say? My mother said she was glad that I'm okay. She said she was happy to hear my voice. She told me that she's been very worried. What about Dad? What did he say? He said he was very angry, but that he forgives me. He told me that he loves me. Of course he loves you. He's your father. Did he say anything else? Yes. He asked me to go home. He said they want to see us. All of us? Yes. They want to meet you. And Sam. They asked us to go to Singapore. But we can't afford it. <laughs> He's sending us tickets. Of course <laughs> he is. He loves you, David. We all do. And now there's Rose and Sam too. I'd love to meet your parents, David. And Sam wants to meet his grandparents. They're our family. Look, I, I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's all out now. We'll go as soon as possible. You can come with me. What about me? Can I come too? You're not family, Steve. Well, you found your brother, we've ordered your wine, and tomorrow you're going home. Yes. Mm, Sarah, thank you for everything. But you'll come back, won't you? Mm, yes, if the wine sells well, I'll be back soon. I feel as if I have a second family here. I'd love to come and see you in Singapore. Oh, yes, I'll show you around. And you must meet my parents. That'd be great. If our business goes well, I'll be able to afford it. There's no ifs about it. You're a very good agent. I'm so happy you're my buyer here. If you like, I'll come to Singapore with Sarah. I'd like that very much. You can meet my parents too. Mm, do you think they'll like me? <laughs> of course they'll like you. If I like you, they'll like you. I think I'd better leave you two alone. <laughs> Bring me if you need help with packing. I've only just met you, and now you're leaving. But I'll come back, if you want me to. Well, I guess this is it. Sarah, thank you so much for all your help, and for your kindness. Please, don't mention it. Well, thank you for trusting me to be your business partner. And my friend. I'll be thinking of you all the time. I wanted to thank you too, Sarah, for being so kind to my sister and looking after her so well. I'll be thinking of you too. Thank you. Oh, it was great to meet you. And you too, Rose. And I hope everything goes well in Singapore. I'm looking forward to meeting David's parents. I hope they like me. I'm sure they will. I'll be expecting a postcard from you, Anne. So you better send me one. And I'll be waiting for a postcard too. I'll be counting the days until you come to Singapore. Attention please, this is the final call for Singapore Airlines flight SQ452 direct to Singapore. Could all passengers for this flight go immediately to gate lounge 3? Goodbye. See you soon. Goodbye. I'll see you soon. Oh, goodbye Rose. Good luck. And you too, David. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Wait! I found him! I found a brother! What? Well, uh, another one? <laughs>